Good morning, everyone. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let me just give you a little peek out. Like I'm peeking out the window right now. We see the beautiful sky and the beautiful sunshine. Yesterday, it was raining. Actually, we got rain for a couple days. But today, the sun is shining, and I'm happy for that. All right. What, one of the things is this morning, I just want you to follow the word of God with me. I'm going to read from Matthew chapter 14, verse 28. Very interesting scripture. Um, and, and Peter answered him and said, Lord, if thou, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? When they, they were come into the ship, the wind ceased. Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying, Of a truth thou art the Son of God. Of a truth thou art the Son of God. Um, when we look at the scripture here and we can see that Peter was walking by faith. When Jesus Christ told him to come on the water, he was looking on to Jesus. And the minute time he took his eyes off Jesus, he began to sink. And Jesus, and he cried out to Jesus, he said, Lord, save me. And Jesus caught him, stretched out his hands and he caught him, the Bible says. Right? So, it's the same thing that's happening with us today. We all have some problems. We all have situations that we feel at times we can't handle. And sometimes our faith, the faith is not even enough to carry us. Why? Because sometimes the faith, our faith gets weak. Sometimes we get scared in the midst of uh, the, the of life problems. And the wind that is against us and everything like that. We get scared. And at the moment, fear grip our hearts. You know, we start thinking of the situation that we are in. And we make the, the situation now become bigger than our feet. It become big in, in, in our eyes that we can't even see Jesus anymore. And, um, but the thing is, there's always hope. That is the time we cry out to him and said, Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. Help me. And he will help us. Because he doesn't want us to sink into the problem. He doesn't want us to, um, what is it, to, to drown in our problems. He wants us to rise above it. In the name of Jesus Christ, we're going to rise above our problems. Now, the next scripture that caught my eyes is this. And when they were coming to the ship, the wind ceased. And they worshiped Jesus. And they said, "As you of, of a truth, you are the son of God. They knew that he was, this, they believed that he was the son of God when the minute time he get into that ship and the wind ceased. Because he's the master of the storm. He is the master of the storm. All heaven, all, the, the Bible said that all power is given to Jesus Christ in heaven and on earth. He have the power to heal. He have the power to deliver. He have the power to save. He have the power to set free. And the, the part, like I said, the part that caught me is now also is that they believe, they said of, of a truth, you are the son of God. When they saw this, when the wind ceased. My question to you today. How? We should ask God. Lord, how can my life reflect Christ Jesus on this earth? In this wicked world. In this dark world. How can my life reflect Christ Jesus in a broken and hurting world? And that people will see. And know that we are the servant of the Most High God. I leave that question with you today. 
have a blessed day. Okay? Remember, God love you and so, so do we from the, his family.